What's up, Everyday Blades? Man, today we got my grill knife. And this has been my grill knife for a long time. I recently bought a version of it, but that, that wasn't the one I wanted. I found a deal on that one and I bought it. This is the one. This is the one I saw a long time ago and knew I had to have it. I honestly didn't think I'd ever have it. Um, <clears throat> luckily, I had a very good friend of mine sell me this knife. They're just, they're not available. You're not going to buy this knife. Uh, this is a Marfion Borka collaboration. It is the SBDP. And it is stunning. So that is a diamond washed. Let's see. I believe it's M390. Almost all their blades are M390. It has to be diamond washed M390 blade. See the Borka Marfion logo there. Super cool. Frag titanium scales plain titanium just like i like beautiful to me that is a beautiful knife a lot of people will say oh well it's so simple it's so plain that's what i love about it it functions flawlessly the action is just butter i mean the the action of my other borka which is the same model the action of my other borka is good right it, it's a good action it's not this. I don't know. The bearings look the same. Everything looks the same. It's just not that. And that's straight out of the box like that. That's, I didn't do nothing to it. Uh, the, the original owner, the man that sold it to me, he didn't do anything to it. It's just perfect. Mm. So beautiful. Put it up against my other... SBDP. So my thinking was, originally I thought, man, I'm going to have to sell this one to purchase this one. And I probably might end up having to do that. These are unbelievably expensive. I mean, they're, it's, it's not even worth talking about. They're, they're, they're not, they're just not, it's hard to say they're not worth what they're fetching because people are paying it. I'm paying it. Um, uh, but I did get a, a nice, nice discount from my friend, and I appreciate it. Um, but but I, I honestly, most of it, I can't tell you what it is, because it, it is a plain design. You can't get another knife that looks like this and feels like this and functions like this without buying this knife. Like I said in my other review of this knife, there's nothing, nothing like it. It's the perfect blade thickness. It's the perfect length for me. It's the perfect pattern for me. This one also, just like my other one, has a tritium insert in the bottom. I'm a huge fan of tritium. I think that is just cool, man. This, whenever you go to disengage the lock bar, there's a couple of little, you know, relief cutouts on the side, but you don't need them. Because that blade's so thick, it gives you a wide area. You can stick half your thumb in there. And you just barely touch it, and it comes open. There's no effort. This knife is just perfect. It functions flawlessly. I could, <laughs> I could gush about it for days, but there's, there's nothing extraordinary done to this knife except the people that made it really, really gave a shit. They really did. They cared about every single square inch of this knife when they made it because it's perfect. The tolerances are perfect. The centering's perfect. The action's perfect. I, I've always been fond of blades with a you know a thick blade stock, and I know that makes it less sliced or whatever. But I, with this, I'm not concerned. I'm not concerned with that. It'll cut all I need to cut because I guarantee you. It's razor sharp. It's sickening sharp. And I had never heard of a diamond wash blade before, but best I can describe it is it's a mirror finish that's been kind of sandblasted in diamonds instead of sand. I don't know. 
but it's just got enough roughness to it where if it gets a few fingerprints on it, it don't look that bad. It's not like a pure mirror polish uh, like that's on the, um, mm -hmm. yeah, that knife. My knife from Japan has the polished blade on it. It is a pure mirror. I mean, if you even breathe on it, it gets a mark on it. This is just so good. The huge hardware. I love that huge. That's a T25. T25. Not a T8 and T6s. T25. These are T8, but look, they're big, bulky, beefy T8s. Huge backspacer in there. Not little tiny standoffs, but the knife is still not heavy. It, it feels, and it's not even, it's not even hollowed out for weight. It doesn't need it. It's got just the right run of weight. It doesn't need to weigh one ounce. The weight feels really good. The action is just unbelievable. That crown spine is killer. Another thing that's, that seems to be very difficult to do for makers is having thumb, stu thumb studs that also act as blade stops. That seems to be something difficult for a lot of makers that I've seen. These guys got the geometry perfect. So, I don't, is this a knife I recommend? Of course not. This is my grill knife. This is a knife you can't get. I was just very blessed and had a good friend that created a situation where I could get it. And I, man, I do appreciate it. I'll never forget it. When you've been collecting a long time, you have a lot of knives. Uh, you can sell some of those knives and it really, really softens the blow when you go to purchase an expensive knife. That's the only way this knife is possible for me. Because this is not a knife I would write a check for out of my bank account. It just, I just, I can't do it. It's too expensive. You could buy a lot of knives for what this knife costs, but this, I'm not saying it, it cuts better than any other knife, because it probably don't. It probably cuts well, it does what it needs to do. But it just makes me feel good to own this knife. It makes me feel good to use it. I carry. I'm going to carry this knife and use it. Uh, I will not use it like I would use this, of course. I'm not going to go beat it up and open con concrete sacks with it. But uh, and that's fine for people that do buy expensive knives and keep them in the safe and keep them nice. I wish I had that this one because I don't. <laughs> I'm going to carry it. I want it with me. I want to show it off just beautiful so just wanted to share this with you guys because man this is a this is like a once in a lifetime thing for me and i'm i'm very very pleased with it so let's do some specs on it grab my <clears throat> they uh definitely don't include a sheet with all the specs on it there's a lot of a lot of mystery around borka um, you're not just going to Google it and find all tons of information on it posted everywhere. Uh, it's kind of an exclusive club. <sighs> Inches, millimeters. Why are you not switching back? There you go. Oh, oh here we are. Well... There we go. All right, be careful on it. Blade thickness is 0 0 0.220, 220 thousandths. This one's about the same thing, 220 thousandths. The blade thickness, this is kind of Ironic here, because that big old beefy blade, you'd think it'd be a really long blade. Uh, it's right at three and a quarter. <laughs> it's not. A, it's not a big knife. It's. It's just. It's a, for me. It's the perfect size. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. But that. This is one thing that makes it really easy to get in that lock bar. Is that gap is over a quarter inch wide. So. It makes it super easy to get in there and push that lock bar over. But that's the deal. 
there's the card on it. SBSP. Uh, honestly, so I know that SBDP, which is what this is, is drop point. So this is spear point. You can tell the two differences. Drop point, spear point. Pretty similar. So. All right, guys. Appreciate you watching. Uh, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. God bless you and your families. Say a prayer for our country. Good night.